Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. In this screencast, I give a general overview of our software Tool Studio. Tool Studio is our grinding and eroding software with integrated wizard technology based on our Walter Knowledge database. The workpiece IDN numbers can be either created directly on the machine and ground immediately afterwards, or you can use Tool Studio on an external PC. The design of the workpiece, the programming, the simulation and the production is combined in one program. On the basis of a simple standard tool, I would like to explain Tool Studio a little bit. With IDN New, I start the tool wizard. Here you have the possibility to choose from different workpiece types, for example, end mill, drill, reamer, step tool and various others. In addition, when using Tool Studio on a PC, it is possible to select the preferred machine type. With next, I move on to the end phase definition. According to the previous selected workpiece type, some different end phase designs are available. The help picture changes depending on the selection. I choose square end and as additional operation add notching. Here you can enter the number of cutting edges and how many cutting edges on end phase reach to the center. The next selection determines whether the cutter is cylindrical or tapered and whether additional peripheral operations are to be carried out, such as a rushing cutter profile. Here you select how the helix of the flute is defined, as angle or lead, as well as other operations connected to the flute. Here now the selection of the clearance angles primary and secondary, or primary as eccentric, or additional facets. The next step is to enter four basic dimensions. Cutting and blank lengths, tool and blank diameter. Here you define the name under which the workpiece is to be saved in the database. Now define the spiral and cutting direction and the workpiece material. After finish, Tool Studio now calculates the geometry and grinding positions from the entered values, the values from the Volta database and the predefined grinding wheel sets. The Tool Studio main window is divided into serial sections. The three main areas are the simulation area, table area with the necessary working operations and the area for parameter input. The title bar shows the current IDN name and the used database. A wide range of functions can be called up and set via the pull-down menus. Via the icon bar, the most important functions are directly accessible from the pull-down menu. Here in the table area, all operations necessary for grinding or eroding the tool are listed. By clicking on one of the operations, it will be highlighted in the simulation and the corresponding parameter window will be displayed. In the parameter window, generally valid parameters as well as parameters per tools are then displayed in individual tabs. In the table area, it is possible to switch to different tables, for example to define the used grinding wheels or feed rates. In the simulation area, you can choose between different views. Tool design shows the workpiece as a 3D simulation. Tool profile shows the contour parts of the workpiece such as OD contour and core contour. Cross section shows a definable sectional view.
wheel profile shows the geometry of the grinding wheel for the selected operation. Machine shows the machine in the total view to be able to see for example the process of individual operations. With a split view, two different views can be displayed simultaneously. And finally the view of our plug-in sketcher to create a drawing of the current tool. To show how a change has an immediate effect on the simulation, I change the cutting edge length in common of the flute operation. The parameters of the individual tees are the same on all tees except for the indexing angle. A change in the helix angle causes a change in the angle on all tees with this setting. With the right mouse button I open the context menu and can switch the parameter to individual. The display of the parameter changes and I can enter an individual spiral angle for each tool. As you can see in the simulation, the spiral angle changes on two T's, but the land width remains the same on all T's. With the context menu, you can reach other options like linear changing helix angle. The next step is to replace the standard grinding wheels with self-defined grinding wheels. This is also done by a few clicks. To adjust parameters I can right click on the corresponding operation in the simulation and make a selection from the context menu. The current parameter window will be opened immediately. By pressing the home button I switch the predefined views and turn the mouse wheel to check the result. If I am satisfied with the displayed result I do a collision check. If all operations are marked green, I can produce the tool. This was only a very small overview of the possibilities that Tool Studio offers. You can also find more information about our software, machines, trainings and customer care on our homepage. Join us again soon.